Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I was just coming up, I was playing around with the design this morning, and I thought it might interest you to, to find out how to make this shape off this uh, hexagon, polygon, six-sided polygon. And the way I came up with it is just take a, an ellipse and hit P, take a six-sided polygon, hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I took two three-point curved lines and I went straight off this line, kind of with the mimicking the polygon, and then I made a really sharp turn. Then I came off this one and made a slightly turn. Now, that isn't gonna rotate evenly because the line, you know, you can see that this line is not gonna match up with that line. Well, what you can do is take your smart fill tool and fill that in and rotate the smart fill 60 degrees. Now we will take away the line, whoop, take away the fill and add line. There's where those two lines cross, and so they need to meet. So we need to basically remove one of them or change uh, one of them. Like if we take away this line and this line, the next time they're going to meet. So we'll fill that in, double click on the rotation. So basically I just made the shape up. And if you don't hit your X when you're doing that, so we're going to rotate this 60 degrees, take away, see, so there's our pattern. And it's going to wrap all the way around because I just moved it up and changed one of the lines to mimic the other line. And then, you know, if you remember, and you don't even have to, you know, once you've got all these, you know, just to fill this in with a smart fill tool and then go ahead and add your, if you're going to use the interactive fill tool, let's do this a little bit different, put it on the outside. That's not real nice, but then I'm going to clone it. Double click, move the rotation. That's one thing nice about working with a six sided and rotate it 60 degrees. And then when you do this all the way around, ah, I didn't make a duplicate or something. Something happened. We can make a duplicate of this now and go back to 240. Now, this is, you know, if we look, this just says a clone curve. This one says control curve. So we can get back to our interactive field tool and do it on the fly. So that's how you could create a shape like that. Doesn't matter which way angle you go, just make them match up. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.